Hi, Hiram here. I want to do a test later on this uh, SBIT solid fuel stove where I use an alcohol burner instead of the SBIT. I'm going to do it with my Nivea can burners. I made some new ones here using carbon fiber, but on the one, the fiber is laying flat. Just one piece of fiber plus a couple of pieces underneath there to push it up against the lid. And the other one I have a strip, a long strip that was just coiled up in there to see if there's any difference between the flat and from the edge, uh, burning of it. I already have 10 milliliters of alcohol, denatured alcohol, in that burner. Probably should have done this earlier so that it was soaked in. That's 10 milliliters of alcohol. Not sure if there will be a difference in the burn patterns here, but I just figured I'd give it a try. Okay, I think that's soaked in. Let's light them. And let's see where this goes. Okay, it looks like the burner on the right, the one where the carbon fiber is coiled, is just about ready to run out. Uh, it burned a little higher than the one on the left, which is just a flat piece of carbon fiber, which it probably burned up the alcohol just a little bit faster. Okay, now you can see that it's starting to make the carbon fiber glow. This is where the carbon fiber comes in better than, say, cotton or uh, insulation. When they run low on fuel, then the padding that you use, either cotton or insulation, tend to burn. This stuff has a melting point of, I think it was 2,500 degrees, so it shouldn't screw it up from one time to the next. Okay, I think that's just about ready to go out. Nope, just going to stand there and glow for a minute or two. Let's say for all intents and purposes, that was 12 minutes on that one. Let's just see how long it takes for this one to run out now. Alright, now the second one where the carbon fiber was laid flat in the Nivea cans is just about ready to run out. You can see that, I think you can see, the uh, carbon fibers are glowing. That one's still glowing just a little bit. Maybe if I turned out the lights we'd see that there's still a flame there. But this one, that's 14 minutes now for this one and it's just about ready to go out. So let's just let it go. Hmm. So about 14 minutes on this one, 12 minutes on that one for the same 10 milliliters of alcohol, which would cost you pennies. Uh, using, remember I think I showed you this, well I mean I showed you this stuff before. Uh, you can get it at any big box home do-it-yourself places. It's used in plumbing to protect your woodwork from the flames. Uh, yep, it says it's usable up to 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. So this won't melt like cotton will. All these were were just Nivea cans that you can get at any drugstore. Get somebody to use the insides or just throw it out. 
and then a hole was punched in there. These holes, if I remember right, are about one and three eighths. I think that was the size punch I used on it. So I think what I'll do is I'll try this burner first and see if I can get two cups of water to boil. And then maybe if I have time I'll try the other one too. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.